The workout for today is called the leg finisher. You can actually do like a leg workout with some dumbbells and then at the end you can do this. This doesn't require any dumbbells. I call it leg finishers. It's just a way to really burn the muscles of your legs right at the end of a workout um, to help uh, muscle development um, basically is what it's for. So um, of course one of the best exercises you can do for your legs and your abs are sprinting. I just did sprints yesterday so my legs and my uh, butt and my abs are very sore. So putting sprints in once to twice a week uh, doesn't have to be for long, 10-15 minutes and that's all you need. So that's one of the best ones. But this is one that you can do at least uh, inside your house. So I'm going to start it up. You don't need any equipment. We're just going to squat for 20 seconds. In the 10 seconds of rest, I'm going to hold the squat, which is really hard to do. And then we're just going to continue for the eight rounds. It will be four minutes. You can press it one to three times through. I would not do any more than that because if you've already done a leg workout, like I said, this is just the finisher. Okay, so we're going to start it off. We're going to have leg arms up to the front this way when we're squatting today. Okay, I don't have my gym boss, so I got my app, my app on my phone. I'm going to start it up here. And uh, here we go. It didn't be for some reason. Okay, so remember this is at the end of the workout. Chest up, sit back on the heels, arms up. You may be going down a little farther than me. Remember, if your knees are okay, go ahead and do that. Rest. Okay, so I'm going to rest down here, arms out. So I don't want to see this. See how my knees are going over my toes? Sit right back and hold it. So then I go again. All right, chest up. Put the weight on your heels. Even curl your toes a little bit. That'll help to put the weight right back on the heels. Squeeze your bum at the top. Here we go. Hold. Now you know why you only want to do this one, two, or three times through. You'll see why in a real hurry here. Alrighty. Now, if for some reason your arms even get tired, you can go here. Okay? So don't be afraid to. If you want to do this as your leg workout, you can do that too. What you could do is just put two dumbbells to the side and actually uh, it will be a whole a leg workout because you'll have the weight. So that's another way you can do it also. Keep breathing. Now if you have any back issues, putting your arms out to the front will increase those low back issues. So if you keep it here, it'll be a little bit easier for you too. Squeeze at the top. Sit back, chest up, sit back on those heels. As you get tired, you'll start to do weird things, so just be careful about that. So I would never do like a leg workout if my legs were sore. If, let's say you were planning a leg workout, but you did a heavy duty one, and then you were gonna do another leg workout for whatever reason, even if it's two days after your legs hurt, I would not, I would recommend to let them rest until there's no more soreness and then maybe do an upper body workout or an ab workout or a hit training. Uh, your muscles get strong when you rest, okay? And when they're sore and you try and work them again, it actually causes more damage to the muscle fiber than good. So that's a little tip there. Just about there, by the way. I like holding it out, balances me out better. Make sure those feet are still to put the part toes out, because they might start to move as you get tired. Got five seconds here. You'll hear the beep. Come down, hold. Now, when you're holding this position, it's called an isometric or static position. The muscles are working. When you hold that position against the wall, it's really only your quads working. It's not your butt, but in this position, it's both. 
hamstrings are working too. Just about there. Remember, you can bring it back to here if you need to. Last hold. Here we go. Just about there. Do you feel the burn in your, your legs? You should feel it. Activity completed. That's it. Stretch it out. Definitely would be doing the squat stretch. If you take your hand, your second finger, put it in your belly button, it will help you stand. Grab at the ankle or above, never on the toes. Bend the foot you're standing on slightly. Stretch both legs at least 30 seconds. See you next workout.